358 million years ago, the continents came together to form the supercontinent, Pangaea. This was the beginning of the Carboniferous period. Oxygen levels in the air were much higher back then, 35% compared to today's 21%. For the first time on Earth, giant trees stored carbon dioxide and released oxygen in abundance. Human beings would not have survived in this high oxygen atmosphere. But for some swamp dwellers, it was ideal. Like Arthur Pleura, measuring up to 10 feet, this long lost cousin of the centipedes was a herbivore. Or Meganoia, with a wingspan up to 25 inches, this member of the dragonfly family is the largest known flying insect ever discovered a tireless predator. It had no airborne competitors at the time since birds and flying reptiles didn't exist yet. The high oxygen levels in the atmosphere give the characteristic sepia color to the sky during the Carboniferous period. Oxygen also makes the air extremely flammable. Such a hostile world is hard for us to imagine. Lightning storms could set aflame the immense forests and their inhabitants. During this period, not a day went by without huge forest fires, and yet giant insects thrived. Later, when fires became less frequent, these astonishing creatures simply disappeared. Scientists are trying to determine what caused that extinction. This is what the French region of Allier would have looked like then. A giant swamp scattered with cypresses. Humidity at nearly 100% made the atmosphere dense and allowed Meganeura to easily carry its heavy exoskeleton into the air. It is part of a genus that is extinct today, but it looks much like modern dragonflies and is part of the same Odonatoptera superorder. With wings that functioned independently of each other, Meganeura was agile in flight, but unlike its contemporary cousins, it couldn't fold its wings. Faced with this efficient airborne predator, vegetarian insects such as Paleodictyoptera had to keep themselves out of sight. By comparing its anatomy to modern dragonflies, we can guess at Meganeura's main physical characteristics. One, it could fly over 40 miles per hour. Two, it was a sight predator. Its head was independent from the rest of its exoskeleton, so it could keep it still while flying and focus on its prey. Three, it had a huge appetite could eat its own weight in food every 30 minutes. To catch all this food, Meganeura had an array of attributes identified in fossils. But what might explain its giant size? 